y'all welcome to a new vlog we are in mallorca we literally just landed like maybe an mm -hmm. hour or two yeah, ago mm -hmm. and we got a rental car you want to show it off a little mini yeah, cooper nice. yeah pretty new mini cooper pretty nice yeah it's really cute um and we are starting in where are palma. we no we're not in palma <laughs> Uh, we're not we could text no, we're in Valdemosa. Yeah. And so we're gonna kind of make our way to Valdemosa, Dea, and Soyer. That's where we're staying tonight. Um, so we're gonna do a whole vlog just for those three little towns. And then we're gonna go all the way to the beach. And I'm really excited for just days lounging, swimming, being a mermaid. But first, we're gonna explore all these cute little cities. So let's go. Yeet. Yes, we're hungry, let's go eat. So we were here during the second, third week of July, definitely peak season in Mallorca. There was a ton of people here, but obviously I can't compare it to off season because this is the first time I've been here. But the town of Valdemosa is definitely worth the stop. I know a lot of people just say to go to Soyer and Dea, but I honestly liked Valdemosa even better than Dea. I feel like there wasn't too much to see around Dea. I feel like it's just, really popular. As I said, I was getting very hangry, so we stopped by this little lunch spot. I actually would recommend this place. There was really good tapas. We got bacon wrapped dates, um, this really good like carpaccio, beef carpaccio with Parmesan. Oh my God, I loved that. And the calamari was delicious. We went to Valdemosa and I'm honestly so tired. Like I feel like I couldn't talk and I was gonna get a Diet Coke at lunch and I forgot to get a Diet Coke. And so we are gonna- nice car nap. Yes, I did. And we were gonna go to Dea, but there was like absolutely no parking and I was like, we'll just do it tomorrow morning and come early. Lunch was really good though. The calamari was good. Like we bacon just like- Bacon dates. Yeah, bacon date. What? No, dates wrapped in bacon. Um, <laughs> same thing. But yeah, we just randomly like pulled up um, to that restaurant. It was honestly really good. But we just got to a hotel in Soy, Soy, Soyer. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and it's definitely, probably the most serene hotel that we'll be at. Um, we're just here for one night and we're gonna go to Calador tomorrow, but I'm just gonna do a separate vlog for that, I think. Wow, it sounds so nice and so peaceful here. Um, and there's like a pool here, but I'm excited to see the hotel room and just like explore the grounds of this hotel. We do have a reservation at 8.30 tonight. That's the only thing we really have planned. Um, other than that, I think I kind of want to swim. Maybe I'll get my swimsuit on. Um, it is like two, yeah, it's almost three. So I think check-in time was at two, um, but we didn't know the code to get in. So we just like followed people in, but uh, yeah, we're about to go check in. Let's do it. But when you pull in, there's a bunch of these lemon trees. Like how freaking cool is that? This is goals right here. It's just Your lined backyard. with lemon trees. I would love this to be my backyard. We actually just planted another lemon tree and two more lime trees, so hopefully one day. <laughs> wow, this place is so pretty. That is my favorite flower, Bougainvillea. Wow. Oh my gosh. She sat us on the table yeah, while she's like checking us in and we got the fresh yeah, orange juice. Like they cute. make that orange juice so, so, so interestingly. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they have a machine here, but they like have this giant machine that just like, like juices mm -hmm. all these oranges and it's so efficient. I'm like, I literally need that in my house. I would love that. This is even better than like what we had. It makes sense. It's like gold in Barcelona, glass, yeah, you know? it's really good. Mm. It's like exactly I what I needed. Almost like the whiskey, you know? yeah, I think I was also really dehydrated. But it's so pretty here. And now we're filling out some paperwork. Basically what we want for breakfast tomorrow morning. We're just filling it out because they prepared it beforehand. Um, so, I don't know. I'm like, what am I craving tomorrow morning? I have no idea. Let's see. Definitely want some crepes. Oh, it's a mini crepe? Hmm. I don't shy. Should come with pictures. Okay, we just got to our hotel room, so I wanted to give a hotel room tour, of course. Look how cute this place is. Babe, they gave us postcards. Okay, this is actually perfect because I really wanted some. Let me take you guys out onto the terrace. The views of these mountains are actually insane. <laughs> kind of terrifying, honestly, but 
Like they are so big. So we have this little terrace over here. Umbrella and everything. And look at those bougainvilleas. It just makes me so happy to see all these colorful flowers blooming and everything. But yeah, the views of the mountains are so cool. This is the bathroom. And we love a hotel that has a bidet. Honestly, we love anywhere that has a bidet. We thought we were going to see more, honestly, in Europe, but we haven't. This is our first bidet that we've seen, and we are very thankful. And then here's the shower. How'd I do? Pretty good. It's my favorite hotel so far. And it's like a B and B. Yeah, bread and back. Bro, what, mm -hmm. what am I saying? Bed. Bread and, and breakfast. You see these wood beams? You like them? Oh my gosh, the wood beams are so pretty. Are the flowers outside? Yes, so I nice. did. Everything's blooming. Yeah, it's so pretty in the mountains. Mm-hmm. We need to show them the pool next. Should we go to the pool? For our luggage in or leave it in the car? Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> we need to go get our luggage. We took the Fana Snap and somehow I'm not recharged at all. Like I feel like very groggy. Um, but we are in Soyer. I still don't know if that's how you pronounce it, so we're gonna have to figure that out from a local soon. <laughs> um, but we're in the city center, so we're gonna explore here a little bit, and then we're gonna go to a dinner reservation that I made. I'm so excited. It's Asian sushi, so you already know I'm like needing my fix for sushi. How freaking good does this gelato look? Oh my god, it's such a trip. I got Miscoff, Spanish version, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. And then Ferrari Rocher. What'd you get? I got caramel. Very On good. a cone, surprisingly. What? Bold choice getting the cone. I know, I feel like I never get a cone like anytime I get ice cream, but everyone was walking by with their gelato and a cone. And I was like, that actually looks really good, so. I just don't like being messy, but like here, it's like really nice weather. The weather's so nice. I mean, we are, we do get hot sometimes, but Great obviously Texas. comparing it to Austin. <laughs> um, rather be here, but anyways, eating ice cream in Austin, yeah, no, I'm never gonna get a cone because it's just gonna like get all over me in two seconds. So, taking advantage. We spot a Sophie in the wild, a Yorkie. Sophie's sending us a message, she messaged us. I saw a guy shooting on a Sony, and so I asked him for a picture of me and Ryan, and then I took a picture of him and his girlfriend, and then another couple came up to me, asked for a photo, which is truly an honor as a photographer. Like, I love taking other people's photos on vacation. We headed out to our dinner reservation, which was about 20 minutes away at the Hotel Jumeirah. It's called the Sunset Lounge. They have Asian food, sushi, seafood, literally everything that I ever love. I did make a reservation for this restaurant. I think a lot of the places in Mallorca, it's best to have a reservation if you can get one. This hotel was right on a cliff, so it had some major breathtaking views. Right before my trip, I had my first ever Hugo Spritz and I became obsessed. And so you'll see on this trip, that's pretty much all I got, but this Hugo Spritz was delicious and we got some ceviche, we got spicy tuna crispy rice, um, we got one roll and then a couple pieces of nigiri. Overall, the restaurant is a little bit pricey, but you're basically paying for dinner and a show with this sunset view. Good morning, and it's day two in this Sawyer area, and I guess we got it in breakfast, like I don't know why I didn't like, see that when booking, but we get breakfast included, and yesterday we checked off everything we wanted today, so I don't even remember what I checked off, to be honest. Yeah, like crepes. And yeah, crepes. Pizza. So, should be good. They have this fresh orange juice, though, that is like, die for. Cheers. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I literally just brushed my teeth. Dang it. Yeah. I need to eat some food before I drink all that. It's so good though. It is 8.46 and we slept so good. I slept in today, which is the first time in well, ever since we got here because every day we've been jam packing our schedule with things to do in Barcelona mm -hmm. and things to see. So this day from here and on, it's gonna be a lot more chill. 
which is nice. Just beach, swimming, one boat day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is the opposite. This video, and then here, this is here. And more or less, mm -hmm. like that. Okay. Perfect. You don't drink tea or coffee? Yeah. Okay. Every morning I order an iced coffee and I order an iced latte for a cafe frio. But they have a cafe frio where they put ice cream oh, in it. Like a frappuccino kind of thing? But it's just like just ice cream. So like a coffee root like, beer? Yeah, basically. <laughs> Um, that doesn't so sound I don't really so know bad. what I'm getting every morning. Yeah, so we'll see. I this think this is, is just iced coffee. It's looked like the past two days. Yeah. Looks, it's good though. I'm gonna taste it. Let's see. <laughs> I guess we're only tasting like the cream part. <laughs> I took a really quick nap on the day bed and it was actually so comfortable. Um, it's been, how many days has it been? Maybe like four or three, maybe four. And we are still super, super sleepy throughout the day. Um, I guess we didn't do a, a great job adapting to the time zone or like I went to bed at 2 a.m. last night because I was just like doing some work on my phone. I was just telling Ryan like, what if the last day we're here, we're like adjusted and then we have to go back to the time zone in Austin. That's gonna be super fun. My hair is pretty greasy today, not gonna lie. Um, and I'm not gonna wear makeup because I'm really, really hoping we swim at one point today. Well, we're going to Calador after we are finished up with Daya, but I have my swimsuit on just in case. There's a super famous restaurant, probably like one of the most famous restaurants on the island in Daya on Caladea Beach. I think it's called Cas Patro March and it's like so hard to get a reservation because I tried like multiple times. A lot of people are saying that the roads to get down there are just so windy and so narrow and you're like on a cliff. And we literally got a little mini Cooper for that reason because I knew that the roads would be a little bit scarier to drive on here. But we also are going to like two other beach towns. So I feel like I'm okay to pass up on that beach. I don't know if I'll regret it, but I feel like right now I'm good. Like I feel like we could just go to the next hotel, but like I said, we're going to Port Sawyer, or is it Port de Sawyer? And then we're gonna go to Dega, just like the town. And then we're gonna go all the way to Calador. So doing a little exploring, it is pretty hot out. It is like noon-ish now. And we're about to check out at this hotel. We only stayed here one night, which was so sad. Um, the breakfast was really nice and just like so peaceful. I said it before, but I definitely think that this hotel is going to be like the most like serene and peaceful of all the hotels we're staying at but i'm excited to show you guys the next ones because i think i splurged on at least one with a sea view and i'm so excited for it you know when you're packing your clothes on vacation and you bring so many nice options but then you throw in the ones that are like more comfy and like maybe less like fancy and all that i feel like i am saving my good outfits for I don't even know what, honestly. And so, I mean, today, like I said, I hope we're going swimming, so I didn't want to like ruin anything that's super nice. And even Ryan was like, what should I wear? And I was like, no, not that outfit. Like save that for like the boat day or something. I'm like, I need to stop thinking like that because I know when that day comes around, I'm also gonna want to be comfy. So I just need to like wear my outfits. Um, but here is my outfit of the day. This is like a tunic. I think it's from Free People. I just have like a little jean skirt on, my swimsuit. Um, where is this from? Where is my swimsuit from? I don't know. I'll try to have like each outfit linked on my like to know it so that there's not a ton of individual links for each little piece of my outfit. I feel like that would be easier. And then I got these new shoes for this trip. These are the Teva. No, I don't even know the style to be honest. These are Tevas though, and I've never bought Tevas. I'm a Chaco girl, I'm a Chaco and Croc girl, but now I might be a Teva girl because these are so comfortable. I haven't worn them yet on this trip, but let me show you a close up. I guess the lore behind these sandals is that either Mary Kate or Ashley Olsen was seen wearing these sandals. She styled them in a really chic way. But these are literally like water shoes, like hiking shoes, I don't even know. And so I just thought that was perfect because, you know, maybe I wouldn't like dress them up to a really nice dinner, but I could wear them with jeans and they'd be super cute and like very comfortable. Like I said, this is my first time wearing them. Right now they're comfortable. I don't know about like 
after two hours of walking. I did do my research on these two and I saw a lot of reviews and everyone says they are like such good shoes for walking around in Europe. I talked about this in my blog right before I went to Spain, but I've officially done every rental service for clothing. So I've done Rent the Runway, Fashion Pass, and I've just started doing Newly. And this is actually from Newly. Renting your clothes before a vacation is so freaking smart. You have to do it. Like seriously, that is like one of my biggest recommendations, travel recommendations or whatever. It's just like the best. You get new clothes pretty much. Like a lot of the times the tag's still on them. You can take one photo and literally send it back and not feel guilty because someone else is gonna wear it and do the same thing. And I'm just really loving renting my clothes lately, even though I do have like obviously some of my staple items that I brought on this trip, but I got around like six or seven items for this trip. I think we're here for like 14 days, which is perfect because for like seven days or even less i want to dress fancy <laughs> and all the other days i'll want to dress comfy with my staples so it's like the perfect combo and especially newly right now like they are popping off they have such good brands free people anthropology all that stuff this is not an ad by the way i'm just like very passionate about renting clothes so if i do have a referral code or something like that i'll try to put it in the description i just checked out the lady at the counter was saying that it's like historically cool right now so it's usually a lot hotter here. For this time of the year? Yeah, for like, I guess, mid-July. Which I'm like, thank Which is still God. pretty warm. Like, I mean, it's not like, it is. definitely not cool by any means. Yeah. Also, these are Ryan's sunglasses. I think I'm officially needing some polarized sunglasses in my life. He has two pairs and he's letting me borrow these. But the only reason, I've been a hater for a very long time because, you know, look at these. They're not very cute. And I love my Amazon sunglasses because they're so cheap. I can lose them if I have to. Not that I choose to, you know, but I unfortunately have a issue of losing sunglasses easily so that's why I'm like I don't trust myself with nice sunglasses like Ray-Bans. Yesterday we were near the water and I wore um, Ryan's sunglasses and I was like okay I'm sold because you can like see past the glare of the water and especially on the boat day that we're gonna go on like I want to see what's in the water you know like I feel like that's so cool so I will be borrowing these not so cutesy glasses from Ryan. I mean, yeah, they're not horrible, but I just like, maybe they just don't fit my face or maybe it's because I'm not wearing makeup today, but I'm like, I don't, I don't love them. But anytime Ryan like wants me to see something cool or just like the mountains or like anything like textured, he'll like put his glasses on me. He's like, no, 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 just see it. Just, just try it, just try it. And then like, I like it. And then I forget that I have the glasses on. This might be the most parking I've ever seen here so far. <laughs> yeah. The big parking lot. Compared to Dea and... Yeah, Bob well, I was actually asking her about that. I was like, why is there, like, no parking? And she was saying, she's like, go early. She's like, yeah. everyone's here right now. And it's basically crazy if you want to go to, like, a little village. Hopefully we can put our feet in the sand. And, yeah, this is nice coming. Well, this is only, like, 11.40. Even in Austin, 11.40 is late as shit. Like, I have to go to Barton Springs at, like, 9 if I want to get parking. But this is great. Hopefully in Dea, we're going to go to Dea next. And hopefully we are as lucky as there because there was definitely way less parking in Dea than even Valdemosa, so we'll see. You do have to pay for parking at these little lots, but how much is it usually? Um, it's five dollars for the whole day, so not that much. Um, how much do you want? Mm, probably like an hour and a half max. Maybe not even that one. Ryan's coming back with his water report. Huh? A lake is really cold usually. Oh yay, everyone has their floaties. I literally packed floaties. <laughs> We just put our feet in but I cannot wait to dunk my whole <laughs> self in there the only reason I'm not getting in fully is because we don't have towels because we already checked out of one hotel we're going to the next so I would be swimming immediately if I had a towel but I just like I can't commit especially because we have an hour and a half ride after Dea to Calador so 
I don't want to be like uncomfy and sticky and gross on the ride, but it's gorgeous here. Show you guys what I am seeing through these glasses because like, wow, like it's so blue in the glasses. I'm really hoping this works, but there's just like a whole green, or not green, but blue patch. Oh yeah, even on my iPhone you can do mm -hmm. it. Isn't that crazy? I'm gonna focus on my iPhone. And then it goes away, but like that's what we're seeing. And it's so pretty. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish everyone could mm -hmm. see it like that. And I'm like taking all these videos and I feel like they are not doing <laughs> this beach justice. But it is so pretty here. just got to Dea and parking is so bad here. <laughs> Please come early, do yourself a favor. We would have came earlier, but I just actually really needed a nap. Um, but we're here, what time is it? One o'clock and it is like already packed. I mean, there's literally only a tiny parking lot in the middle of the city. And there's a ton of like street parallel parking, like right on like the cliff, kind of like a little further from the city. like maybe a half a mile so you do have to walk if you park over there um but we got really really lucky um there was a car in front of us well we got here first but we were like circling the lot and then of course they just pulled in and a car was leaving so they were you know right there um when they were backing out but they weren't able to like back in i guess um so we kind of just like snatched the spot behind them after they left i was like thank god for this spot um so we are just gonna explore the town right by the parking lot was this small little market i'm not sure if this happens every day but we waited in line for this coffee for literally 30 minutes 15 minutes in we were like okay we have to wait it out now because we already were here for so long and it was finally time to explore the town of Dea. i really found this town to be the smallest of everywhere we went so far i honestly felt like i was missing out on something because so many people have talked so highly about it it's pretty similar to the other towns to be honest but i'm glad we stopped by because it has this beautiful picturesque view you'll definitely want to get a picture here that concludes this vlog of visiting Soyer, Valdemosa, and Dea we're driving down south to Calador next which I've heard has the most beautiful beaches on the island so get excited for that content and I will see you guys in my next vlog bye